from Sacramento, California, ready for Rocky Lockridge and Tony Lopez. Lopez, the hometown favorite, with a record of 29 and 1, 22 KOs. In fact, that only loss was on a disqualification. He had his man down and out, gave him an extra whack. And here comes the challenger. the challenger, the hometown kid from Sacramento, Tony the Tiger Lopez. And a somewhat different greeting for the champion, Rocky Lockridge. I think you can call those affectionate boos, but you'll know where the hearts are here today in Sacramento. The champion is not bothered by that at all. He's used to it. He has won on foreign soil many times. 43 and 5, 35 knockouts for the champion, Rocky Lockwood. 29 years of age from Mount Laurel, New Jersey. In foreign territory today here in Sacramento. The champion coming up the steps, ready to take on the challenge of this young man, Tony Lopez of Sacramento. So we'll be back with this championship bout after this message and a word from you. For our Lockridge Lopez bout, let's go to ring announcer Jim Hall. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's scheduled 12 round IBF World Junior Lightweight Championship bout. Presented by Don Chargan Productions and Main Events. The judges assigned for this match are Mike Lienna, Barry Yates, and Frank Rustich. Your referee is Robert Bird. Introducing first the challenger in the red corner fighting out of Sacramento. He weighs in at 129 and 3 quarter pounds. With a professional record of 29 wins, one loss, with 22 knockouts, the IBF's 10th ranked contender, ladies and gentlemen, Tony the Tiger Lopez! And now, ladies and gentlemen, the champion in the blue corner, Fighting out of Mount Laurel, New Jersey. He's weighing in at 128 pounds with a professional record of 43 wins. Five losses with 35 knockouts. Here is the IBF World Junior Lightweight Champion, Rocky Lockridge. With his pre fight instructions. The only thing I want to reiterate now is when I tell you to stop, I want you to stop. When I tell you to break, I want you to break and break clean, okay? On a nice, clean, active fight, okay? All right, corners, be careful of your Vaseline, be careful of your water. Let's go. Robert Bird, the referee, I don't think you'll have to worry about an inactive fight. There's a look at the tail of the tape 128 pounds. The concern on the behalf of Gil Clancy for the champion, Rocky Lockridge, coming in a little under that 130-pound weight, and they're actually not even working in the gym the last couple of days. Five foot five, he's the shorter of the two boxers, but he's beaten many a taller man. Tony Lopez in the tiger striped trunks and the champion Rocky Lockridge in white. The judges, Mike Leanna from Chicago, Barry H from Houston, Frank Roostic from San Diego. Well, a little 
test of physical strength in an early clinch there. There's that looping right in and locking still so successfully, Tim. He sure does, and we've commented that oftentimes he doesn't seem to know where the target is, but it's like radar. He lands it anyway with his head down. Well, he missed two. We said that Lopez was going to get after, off to a fast start, and he sure has, snapping that jab and trying to throw combinations. Watching Lopez in training at Auburn, we noticed that he has a big overhand right of his own, so we could see them both arrive at the same time. If that happens, we'll have a double knockout. <laughs> Round number one, scheduled for 12. Now, the IBF championship distance, still 15 rounds until September 1st of this year. But here in California, the state rules supersede. And in California, they allow only 12 rounds for the championship distance. So this is a 12-round bout. Challenger Lopez has Jimmy Montoya working this corner, well-known California boxing trainer, along with his own trainer, Will Edgington, and cut man Norman Lockwood. Tim Lopez has a good snapping jab. Could be the difference in winning and losing rounds. In the Lockridge corner, manager Lou Duva, trainer Georgie Benton, cut man Ace Murata. Two solidly professional corners. by the challenger Lopez. Lockridge has been through this so many times, Tim. He's just completely relaxed in that ring. And a minute to go, round one. Good left hook to the body by Lopez, Tim. He is a good body puncher, and he's improved that in recent bouts. Under 30 seconds we go. Lockridge well known as a good body puncher. Super concentration by Lockridge. Final seconds of round number one. Here's that good left jab. Round number two, the challenger, Tony Lopez, off the stool against Rocky Lockridge, scheduled for 12. Lopez, the hometown hero from Sacramento. Lockridge from Mount Laurel, New Jersey, the experienced champion. His 11th title bout. Right hand by Lopez. That rocked Lockridge. But he fires back. Tim, that looping right hand of, of uh, Lockridge's is a double-edged sword because any time he misses it, he comes right back with a left hook to the body. Lopez landed another good right of his own. And he'll loop that overhand right as well. Like that. Lockridge pulled away from most of that. The crowd thought it was worse than it was. From their perspective, better than it was, Tim. <laughs> from their perspective. In Lockridge's last couple of fights, he's been able to manhandle his opponent on the inside. This kid is strong. He got wobbled by a left hook. The champion, Lockridge, rocked back. And another solid left by the challenger, Lopez. Lockridge, in his last outing, won the decision over Harold Knight. a 15-rounder in April. He defended his IDF crown twice, stopping Johnny De La Rosa prior to defeating Knight on points. 29-year-old champion, 25-year-old challenger. Good defense by the challenger here as Lockridge trying to bang to the body. Lopez took him on the arms. His brother, Sal Jr., a former boxer, has worked with him on defense. 
and he thinks he's improved dramatically. There's a good right by the champion. Great chance Rocky gets. He feeds that left hook underneath, Tim. That could be an important factor later in the fight. And Luke Golden is yelling to the body, to the body. Hey, there's that looping right hand, but he comes back at that left hook underneath. We're under the 32nd mark in round two. Chopping away one by Lopez. He bangs to the body. Beautiful combination. Coming to the end of round number two. Good round for the challenger. Round number three, Lockridge a little slow to get out of the corner. Not uh, hurting anyway, but uh, just a little extra attention given him by Lou Duba and George Benton. We're in round three, scheduled for 12. Lopez in the Tiger Stripes. Lockridge the champion in white. Bang heads pretty good that time, too. The challenger, Lopez, has never been down and has been cut only once in his 30-fight career. Do the same touch him, touch him. He'd like him to close the distance. The champion Lockridge. There's a good solid left by Lockridge, jabbing a little more effectively. And this is a war between two little bulls. Both guys very, very strong physically. Are you not impressed with how relaxed the challenger Lopez is? Tim, he's fighting a very, very good fight. The hometown crowd has him all keyed up, but he's not losing his cool. Not at all. And, you know, he boxes pretty well, but he's been known to stand there and bang when that adrenaline gets going. So far, he's been very contained. Good left jabs again by the challenger, Lopez. Two in a row. Tim, when the rounds are even, that's going to make the difference in the scoring. Inside, they're just about even, but outside, Lopez scores the points with that jab. Lockridge did not take him for granted. He studied several videotapes, even though he naturally feels confident that his experience will prevail. He took a good look at Tony Lopez. And every time that right hand goes over Lopez's head, the left hook comes back to the body. Short right inside by Lopez. And a short left hook behind it, Tim. Beautiful combination. Under a minute to go, round three. constant pressure by Lockridge. That's what challengers expect from him. He's going to fight three minutes of every round. You don't get to rest. Well, Rocky keeps that left foot right in between the other guy's feet. Always in front of the guy. Right hand lead tied by the challenger. Fell short. Under 30 seconds we go in the third. Lockridge has not been able to land with that overhand right of his. So far. Coming to the end of round number three. <laughs> round number four, scheduled for 12. Rocky Lockridge defending his IBF junior lightweight crown at 130 pounds against Tony Lopez of Sacramento with nearly 11,000 fans jammed into this Arco Arena and almost all of them to a man or a woman cheering for Lopez. Good right hand by Lopez, his looping right landing. Lockridge kicks up the pace now. Inside, Lockridge is throwing the wide punches, and Lopez is punching inside Lockridge's punches. Not a poise shown by this challenger. His first major fight bout in his last fight, he stopped the Canadian Tony Pep in three rounds, a Canadian champion back in March. But he has not fought the kind of 
fighters that Lockridge has in his long career. Complete difference in the experience of the two fighters. Nice combination. Lopez landing and backing up the champion Lockridge. Temperature of about 100 degrees outside here in Sacramento, but we're in an air-conditioned arena. Yet both these guys are sweating freely. Tim, Lockridge's right hand, he just can't land the right hand. It just seems like it's a setup for the left hook. Lockridge pace looking more like it usually does from about round four on. Busy, busy, busy. And Lopez so far matching him blow for blow. Under a minute to go on round four. Good right hand by Lopez. Lockwood is punching outside. Lopez is punching inside. There's a good right by Lockwood down the pipe. Short right inside by the champion. Under 30 seconds we go. Trading body blows and Lopez landed to the head. Coming to the end of round number four. A better round for the champion picking up his pace. Round number five, scheduled for 12. Rocky Lockridge in tough against the challenge of Tony Lopez, at least to this point. We've got Lopez slightly ahead, giving him the first two rounds. Rounds three and four, well, they could go either way on the judges' scorecard. Tim, Lockridge's forte has always been inside, but this kid is beating him to the punch inside. We're live on CBS Sports Saturday from... Sacramento, California. Don't forget, full coverage of the finish of the Tour de France tomorrow, 2.30 Eastern Time on CBS Sports Sunday. Chopping right by Lockley to the face of Lopez and a good solid jab back from the challenger. Lopez, very pleased with his own conditioning. He said, it's the best I've ever been in. I found muscles I didn't even know I had. But since so far, Rocky has not been able to push him back with those strong shoulders and elbows and forearms that he uses. Kid's a strong kid. Yes, he does. And you know, Lockridge told us uh, yesterday. Good right hand by Lockridge. They have to fight my fight. He said, I dictate what goes on in there. And if they can beat me that way, fine. But he said, it just doesn't happen. Now, there's a good combination by Lockridge. He's got his rhythm going now. The champion, Lockridge, picking it up. If you just spot the way he turned it into another gear. Under a minute to go, round five. Missing that overhand right. Nicely timed defense by Lopez. Ducking under. And a short left from Lopez. And a good right hand. And he hurt Lockridge with those up. punches, Tim. Lockridge was wobbled a little. And he grabbed the challenger, Lopez. Lopez has been able to time that overhand right and duck under it. <laughs> but he, did, he ducks right into the left hook, Tim, every time he ducks under it. Inside combination from the champion, Lockridge. A good right-hand lead from Rocky Lockridge. Coming to the end of round number five. Round number 
number six, Tony the Tiger Lopez, giving his hometown crowd quite a thrill to this point into the sixth round. He had the champion a little bit of trouble in round five with a solid right hand and wobbled him. And a good finish to the round by the champion Lockridge. Close fight as we see it right now with a slight edge to the challenger Lopez. Lockridge has very, very good concentration, too. Closing the distance, Lockridge. Here's that left hook every time after the right hand. Well schooled fighter, Lockridge. trouble finding Lockridge now here in round six. Well, Lockridge is getting off first a little more now, Tim. There's a little bit of a right hand by Lopez, a solid one. And another left. There's a blood at the corner of the right eye of Lockridge that occurred before the right hand. And then Lopez, seeing it, landed a big right hand right on it. Toe to toe, they go on the far side. See, Tim, he just can't out-bull this kid. Kid is a strong kid. And now Lopez is cut on the nose. High on the nose, it appears, and he rocks the champion again. Crowd is on its feet here at Arco Arena. That might be, might be Lockridge's blood. We'll see at the end of this round. Under a minute to go. Another right to the head of Lockridge. He has Lockridge in trouble, Tim. Right hand by the champion. Ace Murata is going to be a busy man in the Lockridge corner, working on the cut. Under 30 seconds we go. Lockridge now backing up Lopez, trying well, he to stay close. He knows what he has to do now, Tim. He's in danger. He's going to have to try to get this kid out of there. Yeah, I think that is Lockridge's, Lockridge's blood. Lopez is not cut. The champion is. Coming to the end of round six. Lopez, let's see if we can get into the Lockridge corner and have a look at that cut. Lopez, big round for him, and they're working on Rocky Lockridge, cut over his right eye. We're screened, and now you can see uh, as they attend to it, Ace Murata, the cut man. Lou Duva in the corner there as well, and the champion Rocky Lockridge has difficulty weathering the storm in round number six. He had just opened up the cut slightly, and then bang, that big right hand. You saw the left lead, and then the right hand behind it. The cut was already open, and he knew he had him in trouble. Tony Lopez, the hometown hero, and this crowd came to its feet when they saw the champion in trouble. The cut looks bad. We have a good view of it. It's right above us. We're in the Lockridge corner. It's a very bad cut on the right eyelid of the champion, Rocky Lockridge. That's the worst place for a cut to be, Tim. It's inside the eye socket on the eyelid. Very angry cut. Now, Tim, this is, to me, the most important round of the fight. Lopez expended a lot of energy. If he can put another good round together, he's in command. We've had a minute and a half between rounds, apparently, and the timekeeper to our right, just the, even the crowd knows. So does the Lopez corner. It missed time this break in nearly two minutes. I did not see the doctor come to take a look at that cut at any point. Did you, Gil? No, I did not, Tim. Very unusual. It's a bad cut. We're in round number seven. 
Tim, this is the key round. If Lopez can hold his own this round, he's in great shape to, to win the fight. Lockridge knows what he has to do. He's going to have to try to score a knockout. And you know, Tim, a lot of times a fighter can feel that he's very, very tired, expended a lot of energy, looks like he can't go anymore. All of a sudden, he cuts the other guy, and he gets a surge of adrenaline. Gives him confidence. Lopez fighting very calmly and collectively here as he just landed a good combination to the head of the champion. A lot of poise. And another good combination by Lopez, and the blood starting to flow again from the eye of Lockridge. Tony Lopez with his brother Sal and made it into the top ten. Had his career shortened by an eye injury. His brother Sal Sr. is a lightweight in Southern California. Never got a look at the top ten, but was a winning fighter. Tony Lopez trying to win that title for them in the city of Sacramento. Lockridge has fought them all, all the tough guys on the road. Not going to be phased by the atmosphere here, but that cut over his right eye is his problem. And the blood is flowing right into his eye, Tim. Rocky has tried to straighten out that right hand a little bit, Tim. He's not looping it as much. Round seven scheduled for 12. The IBF junior lightweight crown at stake. Left jab landed by the challenger. Lopez is breathing very, very hard now, Tim. He's gasping for breath through his mouth. He's going to have to get a second win. Another minute to go. Still getting the best of it in this round, though. Lockridge with a good combination to the body and up to the head. Sharp landing blow. Coming to the end of round number seven. Good solid left jabs by Lopez. Round number eight. We're now told that the doctor apparently was on the ring apron. After Lockridge was cut in round six, and that's why there was a longer rest period in California, and will stop the clock if the doctor is in looking at an injured fighter. So we're now told that's why there was a long rest period. We did not see the doctor with a lot of traffic in the corner. He was obscured from our view. Tim, uh, California's rationale for that is they say they want the tournament to have the full minute to work on the fighter. So if the doctor interrupts him and lets him get away from the fight, they give them the full minute. That's their rationale on having more than a minute between rounds. We're into round number eight. Tim, and that cut looks more angry now than at any time in the fight. Bad cut on the right eyelid of the champion Rocky Lockridge. It came in round number six. Lockridge cannot land that right hand, Tim. Every time he throws it, it's over Lopez's head. The left inside from Lockridge. Another good left hand from Lockridge. Jabbing, angry cut takes more impact from the blows of Lopez. And a good combination with the right hand. At the Beautiful end of combination, Tim. One, two, and a left hook. Some blood from the mouth of Rocky Lockridge now. Right hand by Lockridge sends Lopez to the canvas. An overhand right by the champion in round eight. The first time he's ever been down. And he is still wobbling. Tim, you don't know how you're going to react after you've been down for the first time. Let's see how long the count he gets. What a, what a, 
What a dramatic turnaround, Tim. One big punch by Lockridge, tries the right hand again. And there's another right hand. Lopez in trouble. Lockridge, here on the eighth round, trying to finish off the challenger. He had him badly cut and a hit on our card handily, but Lockridge suddenly, with one big overhand right that landed. Well, we said he was trying to straighten out that right hand, Tim, last round. What he landed. Finally, he landed. Under 30 seconds to go on the eighth. Lopez just trying to survive, stay on his feet. Lockridge pouring it on. Lopez finally grabs him. Here's where conditioning comes in, Tim. All conditioning now. Final seconds of the eighth Nailed round. again with the right hand. Lockridge trying to get a clean shot. The end of round number eight. What a comeback by Rocky Lockridge. One big right hand as we go back to the challenger's corner. Will out. And Rocky Lockridge went back to the corner. He looked like he'd been in a threshing machine. He's bleeding from the eye. He's bleeding from the mouth. It all depends on whether it's in Lopez condition. He can bring him back. Let's take a look at that big punch by Lockridge. Back into round number eight. There's that right hand from Lockridge sending Lopez down. Rocky Lockridge, a close-up look at that angry cut on his right eyelid. But a fight that seemed to be going all the way of the challenger, Lopez, suddenly with one dramatic right hand from the champion, turned around. Tim, it looked like it hit him on the temple, yes, almost in the back of the head. Yeah. Very, very strange. I thought on the temple. I thought on the temple, Gil, and, and yes, the way he reacted, it looked like that kind of a shot that really stunned him. And he got up quickly, but he was still very wobbly, managed to survive the rest of the round. You know, he's never been down, and so, Again, you have the, the circumstance of a fighter not really knowing what to do in that circumstance. Took him a long time to try and grab Lockridge. Now, again, we have a long rest period. I don't know what the answer is going to be this time. There was no doctor. Was he up? Yes, the doctor apparently did come up again to look at Lockridge's cut. An extra 30 seconds in that break between rounds 8 and 9. We're into the ninth, scheduled for 12. Now we'll see how Lopez recovers. Will Edgington, his trainer, working on him with Jimmy Montoya between rounds after the knockdown. Tim inside, he gave as good as he got that time. Tough kid. CBS Sports Saturday live from Sacramento. Tim Ryan and Big Lopez. right hand by, by Lopez, Tim. Right on the button. Lopez in the Tiger trunks, the challenger against Rocky Lockridge. Tremendously dramatic fight from the opening bell. Now Lockridge is fighting his kind of fight, Tim. Keeping those hands moving all the time. Keeping his head right on the other guy's chest. It's going to be up to Lopez to punch with him, spin himself out of it, give himself a little room. Lockridge landed another right hand. Lopez trying to bounce, get his feet under him, use that jab again, but Lockridge with that persistent, consistent style now swarming in on the challenger. Lopez trying to back him up, and he does with the left hand. Tim, but he looks very, very tired at this point in the fight, Lopez. Right hand lead by Lockridge. A little blood from the mouth of Rocky Lockridge. Cut under his lip, suffered in round number eight. Both fighters ripping punches inside now. Lopez resting up against the ropes. Lockridge is a working machine now, though, Tim. Puts that foot right there, plants himself. You just can't get away from him. Under a minute to go in the ninth round. Lockridge continues to pin Lopez against the rope. Lopez, no doubt, showing some fatigue here as he's unable to move out of there. Hoping to land that one punch that will back up the champion, but Lockridge is having none of it. Under the 32nd mark we go. 
Cantor and Locker are just keeping up the pressure. Lopez lands the left hand. Locker's getting the better of this. Short right by Lopez as they come into the final seconds of the night. What a fight. Round number three, the champion Rocky Lockridge. Uh, round number ten, the cha champion Rocky Lockridge. Three rounds to go is what we're trying to say. Against Tony Lopez from Sacramento. And the champion having turned the fight around. In deep trouble with an angry cut. Well, Tim, we, had, we had mentioned that Lopez looked a little tired in the seventh round, Tim. He has to get a second win. To take command of this fight again. Lopez went down with a big overhand right from Lockridge in round eight. After he had the champion seriously cut and hurt in the sixth round. Lopez lost his balance, but he didn't land the left jab anyway. Reaching with his punches, then he's a little too far away. Lockridge will help him close the distance. He wants to be in close. There he goes. Don't forget, after our boxing action on CBS Sports Saturday, the Greater Hartford Golf Championship. The difference inside, Tim, is that Lockridge is in position to punch. He has that left foot in front of him. And when Lopez goes on the ropes, his feet are even. You can't get any power that way. Right hand landed by Lockridge. job in the corner of Lockridge on that angry cut. There's a little blood from it now, but it has not obscured his vision to this point. Good left jab by Lopez. Big right hand by Lopez landed. That backed up Lockridge. Under a minute to go on the 10th. Scheduled for 12. Good left hook by Lopez, Tim. Looks like he may be coming to life again. Stepping with the jab. Lopez looks like he does have a little more life in his legs. Well, they're fighting this round outside, Tim, after Lopez on the, was on the ropes for the entire last round. Lockwood's trying to get him to the ropes again. Under the 32nd mark we go. This from the opening bell. Wow, Channing, Tony, Tony. Coming to the end of round 10. This is round number 11, scheduled for 12. The challenger, Tony Lopez in the Tiger Trunks, has never been this far, ever been past 10. Lockridge has been there many times before. He went 15 in his last outing, defending his title against Harold Knight. Stay tuned for the Greater Hartford Open Golf Classic that follows here. There's a rocking punch thrown by Lopez. Buckle the knees of the champion Lockridge. He's got him in trouble again. What a fight, Tim. Lockridge, what a fight. Fired back a right hand. Lockridge is really on rubber legs, Tim. Referee almost knocked him down. Another right hand landed by Lopez. Lockridge pulling back from the last combination, but the champion in difficulty again. And he's cut under the left eye now. Two cuts and the sting out of Lockridge's punches here. Just trying to stay busy. Well, Tim Lopez did great in the center of the ring. He should get off those ropes. Lopez apparently taking a little rest in the air, hoping to find that one opening. But well, now he finally moves away. The old veteran was getting the rest in there. Sure was, and the old veteran knew exactly what he was doing. And he landed a big right hand. Cut under the left eye of Lockridge. Bad 
one on the right eyelid. Under the upper lip as well. Tim, if I was Lopez now, I'd use that left jab overtime. In the late rounds, the fighters forget about it. That's when it's easy to hit a guy with a jab when they're tired. Well, this is an excited young challenger here fighting in front of a hometown crowd. I'm sure he's looking for the home run ball. He's tired, though, Tim. Of course, Lockwood is as fresh as a daisy either. This has been some war. Again, he's fighting with his feet even, and Lockridge has got that leverage with that left foot in there. And a minute to go, round 11. Now the first warning from referee Robert Bird to watch their heads. Referee's done a good job in this fight, Tim. Anytime you don't see a referee, you know he's doing a good job. Both landed overhand rights. Under the 32nd mark in the 11th round. Right hand by Lockridge score. And another. What a war in Sacramento. Final seconds of the 11th round. Schedule for 12. Right hand by Lopez. fans in Sacramento were on their feet for the entire rest period with some cheerleaders in his corner they were up and hollering for Tony the Tiger final round IBF junior lightweight championship at stake a big cut over the right eye suffered by the champion in round six a knockdown scored by Lockridge in round eight a close fight now Tim the knockdown could be a three-point round, and it would take Lopez. He has to win two more rounds to get those points back. Lopez just knocked the uh, gel foam, Tim. That yep. gel foam, gel foam, foam out the uh, eye of Rocky Lockridge that cut on his right eyelid, and a good combination scored by Lopez. Now you have to factor in the emotions of the crowd, the noise in here for Lopez, if it goes the distance still. Got judges from Chicago, Houston, and San Diego in, a, in what appears to be a close fight. But Tim, judges are only human. When they hear the people scream, they have to say to themselves, well, maybe I missed something. And again, the way Rocky Lockridge looks, I and mean, he sure looks like a loser. He's leaking from everywhere. Lockridge, meanwhile, landed a good straight right hand down the pipe. Seconds and a good left, left hook, hook, Tim. Right there. Lopez got to get out of that corner. This is where Lockridge does his best work. If you stand there, he'll hit you. He'll oblige you. Tim, this is one of these fights that Lopez is get, getting every bit out of himself. I don't think he could go a 13th round. Number 10 ranked, Tony Lopez, the hometown hero. What a brawl this has been with the champion Rocky Lockwood a minute to go. Out comes a mouthpiece of Rocky Lockridge. Robert Bird will call time. A California rule. In that circumstance, if the mouthpiece comes out, time is called. It is cleaned and replaced as it has been. And now time will resume. And Tim, I think that was an advantage for Lockridge because Lopez has just landed a couple of pretty clean punches. And and a clean, punch, to regroup. clean punch that knocked the mouthpiece out for sure. And another right hand by Lopez. Robert Rocky a little bit that time, yes, Tim. He did. Uppercut scored by Lopez. Coming to the end of the fight. Blood all over the face of the champion. And he keeps firing punches. Final seconds of the fight. There it is.
Well, the Sacramento fans think that Tony Lopez is the new IBF junior lightweight champion. It'll be a close call, I suspect. We'll find out when we return to Sacramento in a moment. All right, we are back live in Sacramento awaiting the decision in this IBF Junior Lightweight Championship bout. And let's get the decision from Jim Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Judge Barry Yates scores at 115-112. Judge Frank Rustich scores at 116-112. Judge Mike Gliana scores at 115-112. For the new